Flying boots. Hi, Rango. What are you doing, bud? Oh, it's warm in here. There, get it, bro. Get it, Rango. You did it. Oh, your scales are coming off, eh? What a good boy, boot. What a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Pam's already gone to the Humane Society where she goes and walks the dogs and loves them and hugs them and plays with them and feeds them little bits of cookies because that's what she does every single Saturday. She abandons her family for dogs. I'm just kidding, Pam. Liam and I are going to be going to a nearby forest, the same one that Pam and I went to, but we're going to be looking for a coyote den because there was a dude, as we were coming out with the dogs, the dude was going in and the dude was like, did you know there was a coyote den in there? And we were like, no. No, he didn't seem that crazy, but he did seem really enthusiastic. He's like, I had my dog, but he was a little dog, and he came. we came across, and I was like, whoa, because if this is a den, the breeding season for coyotes is from December to March around there, or late December, and the gestation period is only 63 days. That's two months, so technically there could be babies, and if that coyote has babies going near it, probably not a smart thing, especially if your dog is small. Liam and I are not bringing the dogs, just us. We're not there to antagonize the animal at all. I'm just really curious to see if there is indeed a coyote den nearby. Kind of interesting and kind of a good reason maybe not to bring your dogs there at dawn like the sign says. Coyote in area, a little bit dangerous. That's what we're doing today. Also, we got this, which is a Yum Box. Subscription box. Not uh, not sponsored by them though. Just a uh, candies from around the world. We're going to open that today. Cal has his friend over here, so he's going to get to partake in it. This is going to be delicious. Hey, hey dill holes. We're going to be having five... Guys, burgers. Oh. Hi, Keegan. How are you? So, yeah. Uh, you and your internet need to go upstairs just temporarily and watch the dogs. Liam and I are going to a local forest. We'll be back fairly short. We won't be super long. You just got to watch them. Someone's got to watch the dogs. Keep the front door locked. We won't be long. We're just going to be down the road. There's a coyote in the area, and we're going to try and find him. Hopefully not face-to-face, -face, and hopefully it doesn't have babies, or this could be a very... Bad trip. So, uh, Mr. Outdoors, Mr. Outdoors here does not have gloves on and is wearing a baseball cap. Listen, I've made a lot of mistakes in the outdoors. Getting cold and being cold is probably the worst thing. Oh yeah. See Liam? This area here. Hey look. The trail cuts in there, but all in there, dude. All in there. No, the the you can see the houses there. If it's a coyote, he's not gonna build it really close to humans. Well the problem is we're seeing all sorts of footprints and everything in the snow, which could be leading down there. But there's so many dogs in the surrounding the surrounding houses and everything like that people yeah. like here you can see quite a well-used trail I see yeah on there. We'll check it out. there's I don't know man let's let look let's see how far back this trail goes first we'll see where the actual houses are and then maybe try and go halfway between there and the main trail here because that maybe will be like optimal distance to keep them safe and secure all right it looks like we've reached the top here Lots of construction here. No way that the den's gonna be here. Liam, stick your hand down there and see if you can grab a possum or something. It might be a squirrel, could uh, be a badger. No one's using that. Look at the snow. Either that or they're sleeping. Look. Hey guys, what? William Hansen here. Survival uh, m master. See this tree? Bader. See this tree? Yeah. It's pointing in that direction. Oh yeah, I see there. that. That would mean the coyote's den is that way. Oh yeah, it makes sense now. I understand. Yeah. Jeez Louise, look at all the trees down, man. Is this forest unhealthy or what? All right, we're going down the other side now. Off trail, this could be bad. Don't break, try not to break too much. It is a natural forest. We've just stumbled across what looks to be an ancient form of coyote transportation. It's a bit rusted, so we might be in the right direction. When? Did coyotes learn to form concrete, Liam? That's a concrete post. Liam, you go ahead. Go down that way. Look to see if you can find any really cute paw prints from a potentially dangerous animal. Keep going that way. If you hear a growl, you've gone too far. Wait, what if I just... It's not a coyote. Too big to be a coyote. Looks taste, more... taste it. Hey. 
it's a deer. I'd say we follow this one. Yeah. We've uh, we've come off the trail quite a bit. We may be stuck here for the night. All right, we came across our first human prints here. And remember yesterday there was a dude that was coming in here specifically. So this is the path we took. This is the human prints going off again into sort of thick bush there. There's no trail there. So we may follow this on the way back, but we don't know if he's already coming from it or if he's heading towards it or if this is even him, but we're going to follow the uh we're going to follow the the things going that way. Don't no, you nice you saw my idea. You wouldn't even have taken a picture and put that on Instagram it's if I didn't nice show you. There. You yeah. know nothing. You have no respect for composition of photographs. Keep moving. Darn it. We've heard humans. Keep your voice down. We don't want these infidels, these muggles, to find us. Liam used logic though. Okay, so this dude, this dude is heading back towards towards where we came from. Head. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So listen. This dude is coming from here and he's going up to that way. Yeah. And if he found it here, there was no way he would just, like, if he's already found it, there's yeah. no way he would have Why to go, would he go there he and then branch off again? Branch off to another random path up to a hidden area. I love your logic and reasoning. Boom, you're my son. All right, so this is where it branches off, Liam. You follow that. This is where we came from there. There is no path here and the tracks are going off this way. We're just assuming that this guy actually can remember where to find the coyote. So, oh my God, can you guys, you guys can't see that. There's deer. We just came across. Of course, I didn't have my camera ready because I'm a. Keep it on. It's right there. Uh, White-tailed deer going up there. Keep it on. Keep okay. it on at all times. That way, all right. you come across something. We got to be quiet though, because they can hear us like a million miles away. Yeah, they can hear the I don't know. It could be. That could be a den. Can I go look? You can take a look, but here, let me take the camera. Go ahead. Just be careful. Snow fell in it. What? Snow in it. There's no way then. There's no way that they... Coyotes are active during the winter here, so... Let's try and be as quiet as possible. Liam, take the... Take the softest snow up that way. There's mad footsteps here. I know, they can hear us like a million miles. The air is really still, so I don't think they're going to hear us. They're up the hill there. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up there. No, I know. Cool. Tree fort. Look at the stands in there. It's definitely, they're not hunting stands because this has been, well, maybe they are actually from way, way back, but I don't think so. The wood looks pretty old. This community is not super old. And like all these houses here and all this is new. Yeah, yeah. So this, you know, considering there's a ton of deer in here, this might've been like one of those hunting stands. So that's pretty elaborate, man. Usually <laughs> a hunting blind's not usually that multi-story. Oh my God. We go all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see that. That deer is right there. Let's see if, let's zoom in on it. Where is he? I don't know if I can spot him in here. You can't see him? On my, ca on my camera. Is that him in there? Look at, they're all looking because they're like, what is this guy gonna do? It's hard to this angle. Oh, they're looking, they see us. They're gonna bolt. Oh, five guys for dinner. And that's your first Five Guys burger ever, right? Yeah. Did you take a bite of it already? Yeah, what do you think of it? It's good. Yeah? How do you compare it to, I don't know, out of one out of 10, what do you compare it? 11. An 11, you like it that much? Yeah. The cheese is really good, eh? It's got a really good taste. Ewan, you gotta learn to like cheeseburgers. You didn't even get a double. You could have had a double. You got a single with bacon. We are gonna be doing this unboxing of Universal Yums. I think this is what it is. Universalyums.com. It's a, one of those monthly subscription. This is a candy box. So international, the yum box. So it's gonna have all sorts of different candies in here and we're all gonna try it. All right, let's take a look. Oh, welcome to Italy. Oh yeah, flip this over for some see. fun. So there's that. We got Italy. So uh, each month, basically for this uh, subscription, each month you get candies from a different country uh, around the world. And this uh, uh, one happens to be candies or snacks rather that are from Italy. So this is going to be awesome. All right, let's take a look what we got here. We got lemon chips. What? Oh, awesome. see. Okay, lemon flavored chips. I'm showing them first and then you'll be able to see. Lemon chips. What? Those sound delicious. We got a package full of... Uh, looks like 
maybe chocolate and some sweets. Sweets here, one of those chocolates. So we've got those. Some sweets. And then we've got oh, what I, is this? This I think is I had these before. Uh, a biscuit, some sort of biscuit. Looks like a cookie of some sort. We got little yep. snack crackers, which again, it doesn't Toscana with rosemary. So some sort of uh, Frito. What? Nah, non Frito. I don't know what that means. But anyway, they look like crackers, so that should be easy. Ooh, orange cookies. I don't mind cookies. I like cookies. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Another one of those uh, cookies there. And then some wafers. That's going to be pretty simple. So not too many candies. What's up? Italy, you guys don't like gummies and stuff? Where's the gummies? All right, Cal, try yours. Yours is probably like some sort of lint. You know those lint balls or whatever? So yeah. take a bite of half. Let's see what's inside it. Take a bite mm. of half. What the heck is that? Like white chocolate or something? Is it a cream? Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a thick no, cream, eh? No, it's not. How do you find it? It's white chocolate. Is it white chocolate? Is it good? Mm. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I gave everyone else. We did rock, paper, scissors, and... At first I said, I get first pick because it's my box, but then I was like, you know what? It's candies. Kids like candies. I like candies too, but they like them, so I tried this. So this is like basically a uh, licorice flavored candy. Pretty standard. Not bad. I've had the same kind of candy before, you know. Come on, come on, just open them up. Chips with lemon. I don't need the ingredients. Chips. What? How do you... Why? Who opens a bag like that? How do you not That's open how it's it? It's supposed to be open. No, it's you just. Oh, you're a wax sauce. All right, come on, try it up. Uh, just try. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. What do you think, mm -hmm. Liam? Your hair is just all wax sauce right now. What do you think, lemon chips? Though that's a it's weird flavor. Average. All right, these are supposed to be lemon chips, and of course the kids are all like, "You don't taste like lemon," but they're used to like atomic, crazy, super sour candies. So let's see. Like if it is there, it's super, super subtle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like exactly like plain chips. It's like the, it's gotta be the lightest, sorry, I'm talking about food in my mouth, but the lightest amount of flavoring I've ever had on a chip. Well, not bad though, I like the chips. Why are neither of you two weirdos lying down? That's where they lie down every night. <laughs> I don't know why neither of them are lying down, but they're not. Oh, there you go. Good boy, Floyd. Good night, buddy. Good night, Rommel. Honestly, I'm so tired. I almost forgot to say good night to all you guys and, you know, finish the vlog. Uh, we stayed up and we watched Moonlight. I don't know if you guys have seen that. The Academy Award winning best movie, I think it was. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of mixed. In the beginning of the movie, I really liked it. Like, without trying to give you spoilers or anything like that. In the beginning, I was like, oh, I like this. It's a little bit raw kind of quasi documentary like an updated boys in the hood type movie that's what i was thinking and, and it well it i knew the premise of it so boys in the hood broke back mountain ish type movie um and i was just like i was waiting for something a little bit more from it so it was okay even pam pam was like yeah it was okay it wasn't like i didn't see what the big hoopla was or anything like that i thought it was an okay movie was expecting more but anyway that's just my opinion maybe you guys watch it any of you guys seen it do you love it don't give spoilers so that other people don't know or anything like that but did you really like it or how did you feel about it you know what i mean like it's not that i didn't like it at all i thought it was very different um just you know i i don't know i just didn't see what the huge deal was anyway Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I had a really good day today. It was fun. The uh, candies and then the uh, the tra the animal tracking in the uh, forest with Liam. That was actually a lot of fun. You can tell. I don't know if you can hear, but I am very tired. And I'd like to go to bed. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, if you want a chance to win one of the hats. Not the white one. Not this one here. The black one. Um, just hashtag Life with Neils in the comments below. And if you want, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that sort of stuff. Those links are in the description. And by the way, I've got a website. I'm still working on it. www.lifewithneils.com It's not 100% done yet. Slowly getting there. Just something, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. So go check it out if you, if you can. I might have a sign up on it soon, but it's just literally just started. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Squish your head.